When visitors first come into the museum, they will enter into our circular lobby and it showcases our iconic, our logo tractor, which is the D, because that is the very first tractor that Deere designed and manufactured on this site. So they will see the, the Model D in the lobby and it, it's basically a, a John Deere, you will feel the John Deere facility and then you will walk into the history. You will walk into the gallery that show, talks about work and why a tractor ever needed to be developed and then you will go down the history line. There are 19 tractors in the museum, six engines, and there are probably a little more than 25 interactive, hands-on um, interactive things that people can touch, try, and learn about different aspects of tractor design and manufacturing. Yes, we only have two photo op tractors that visitors can climb on, and that's the tractors behind me, the Model B and the 7290R, and that pretty much showcases the difference in technology from the from the beginning of the museum, which would be the Model B, to what we're doing in current production out at the tractor and tractor cabin assembly facility. Uh, well, in 1895, the Waterloo Gasoline Engine Company was formed and they uh, tried to sell uh, tractors, but they primarily sold gasoline engines and they were quite successful at it. And by 1915, the Waterloo Gasoline Engine Company uh, employed about a thousand people here in Waterloo. Uh, in 1912, they developed their first tractor, which would have been the Waterloo Boy. This is actually a 1914 Waterloo Boy, uh, one of the earliest known Waterloo Boys to exist, uh, comes to us courtesy of uh, Trav Jordy as a collector in Rochester, Minnesota. Uh, but after John Deere attempted to build their own tractors, um, they had decided that it was probably going to be easier for them to buy a company that was already established in selling a tractor of their own. They already had a brand recognition, a name of their own, the Waterloo Boy. So in 1918, in early 1918, uh, the Waterloo Gasoline Engine Company sold to, the, uh, sold to John Deere for about $2.25 million was the total purchase price of the company. It means about $35 million in today's dollars. Um, and so both sides probably got a pretty good deal uh, as, as far as that went. And uh, for a lot of people in Waterloo, they were um, concerned about you know, an outside group coming in and buying their company. Uh, but John Deere showed, uh, invested in Waterloo very, very quickly, as early as the early 1920s. They were investing millions of dollars to build a new factory and new uh, buildings uh, here on this site. And by 1923, John Deere was manufacturing the Model D tractor uh, in a modern facility right here in Waterloo, which of course is where they would stay for the next 97 years.